This is why you don't make money from property. It's because you watch enormous amounts of YouTube videos, you learn a huge amount of things, then you learn about one particular strategy, then you see another one that looks interesting, and then you go off looking at that one, and then you spend some time on that one, then you hear about a different strategy over here, and then you're exploring that one. And what we tend to do is a little bit like a magpie, we get distracted by lots of shiny objects, and we're off trying to do lots of things. And none of these things are working because we're dipping our toe into all these things rather than immersing ourselves. So how do I know this? Because I've experienced this myself. And that's how my journey started. When I first got involved in property, I had just one objective. I just want to make some money from property. And that's why I was here. I was case right. I want to learn about property. How can I make money from property? And people used to talk about strategies and fancy strategies. And I used to think, I need to do that. Someone's talking about HMOs. And I'm thinking, wow, I need to learn about HMOs. You can make a thousand pounds from one house. If I have a couple of those, my life is sorted. And I'm just kind of looking at that. And I'm thinking, oh, this looks like hard work. I've got to find the property. I've got all these tenants to deal with. And then whilst I'm thinking about all these, these things, I haven't made a decision to do anything yet. And then I hear somebody talking about, you can buy houses for no money down. And I'm thinking, forget the houses for a pound. I now want to buy houses for free. So I'm pursuing and chasing that. What does all this mean? It means that you're constantly jumping around, chasing different things, which is what I was doing, but not actually getting any meaningful and your results because we're not really committing to any one thing. And the way things changed for me when a mentor came along who literally took me by the hand and says, look, you just need to put the blinkers on and stop getting distracted by all this other noise and focus on the one thing that's going to lead you towards your goal. And my goal is I need to make a certain amount of money each month, a couple of grand each month. And he said, what's the thing that you've been doing well? What I had been doing well is going out, talking to people, uh, looking at properties, negotiating deals. But really, I, I kind of felt a bit of an imposter syndrome and I wasn't really going any further with those deals. So I didn't really have the money to do them. But what I understood was, and what the mentor helped me with was, look, you've got all these fantastic deals, you're speaking to people, you've negotiated with them. What you need to do is now move them forward. And even if you don't want to buy them or you can't buy them, there'll be people that'll pay you for these deals. And they'll pay you well for those deals, two, three, four, five thousand pounds for each one of those deals. And that's what I started doing. So I started selling on deals that I was finding and sourcing to other people. And what that meant was that the I actually started doing one thing and doing one thing well. And for a long time, that's all I did. And I didn't do any of the other things. So the difference between myself at that point starting to get results and myself a year earlier, for example, when I was getting no results is I just had lots of theory in my head. I had a lot of knowledge in my head. I was jumping around, dipping my toe in lots of different strategies, but not taking massive action and immersing in one strategy. The change happens when you immerse in one strategy, you commit and you commit wholeheartedly. And that's what brings results in property. Hey, if you're enjoying these short videos that we're doing called Sag Dailies, then make sure you also check out our longer form content that we have on the channel. There's probably about 300 videos that are on the channel that we've uploaded over the last few years, and there's a lot more content uploaded regularly. And if you're enjoying it, then make sure you click on that like button. Also subscribe to the channel, but more importantly, leave me a comment. Let me know what it is about these videos you're particularly enjoying, I'm particularly liking. And once you've done that, make sure you click on this video and I'll see you over here next.